If I can't change it, then why am I worrying about it? Why am I wasting even another ounce of my time or giving any of my attention to this? We fight, we fall, we bleed, we rise again. This is Sparta! Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about Bible verses for sleep. And we've all experienced times where we're just trying to get some rest and we're just, we've got a lot of things on our mind. Maybe we're excited, maybe we're weary, maybe we're stressed out, maybe we're just plot out scared of what the future holds. And I love what Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 says about, you know, come to me all who are heavy burdened and I will give you rest. And I'm paraphrasing that Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, but it talks about God, just come to me, you know, and, and lay these things in front of God and, and cast your cares onto him. That's completely, we have that verse, but the idea of getting it off your shoulders, getting the weight off your shoulders and putting it on God and trusting him and letting it go. You know, one thing that has always served me is that, look, if there's nothing I can do right now about that situation, then I need to just give it to God and forget about it and go to sleep. Black out the room. I got a new little blackout uh, mask for Christmas that I've tried a few times and it definitely blacks out the room. But man, you know, when I, when I black out the room, I find like I can just get into a state of sleep so much easier, especially when we used to be uh, on tour and, and the tour bus, you would close the curtains and it would also be really cold in the room. The other verse I want to share with you is Proverbs 3.24, which talks about when you lie down, you know, your sleep will be sweet. Okay, your sleep will be sweet. You know, it talks about that in Proverbs 3.24. And that's just another one of just like just lying down and just receiving that my sleep can be sweet and I can have rest. But I've got to receive that rest. You know, I got to, I got to believe that. Like I got to take what God's word says is, is truth. I can't just read it and say, okay, that's good for that person, but that's not good for me. It's just like, no, God, I receive that rest. And I know that you're, you're, you're working on my behalf while I'm sleeping and me worrying about it ain't going to change anything. It's not going to make one difference. And I don't know about you, but I have worried about so many things that never, ever happened. I bet you use the same thing. You've worried about so many things that never even took place. And we start painting all these pictures of all these scenarios that we think will happen and they never do. And that's when you just need to stop shoot that worry right in the head and get it out of your mind, get it out of your thoughts and get God's word in your thoughts that look, no, God's got a plan for me to give me, to prosper me, to give me a hope and a future. This is going to work out and start thinking of all the ways that, how it is going to work. What I say sometimes is that like, stop thinking about, you know, what's going to happen if it, if it doesn't work and start thinking about what if it does. Okay. So get your mind off. What if it doesn't work and start thinking, what if it does? Okay, and if there's nothing you can do this very moment, well, then you just got to learn to wait and learn to wait in peace. And let me tell you, after, you know, living for 40 years now, I've realized that, like, if I can't change it, then why am I worrying about it? Why am I wasting even another ounce of my time or giving any of my attention to this? Let's move on and be productive in something else and not let worry sap my joy and sap my sleep and then mess me up for the next day. Because, like, I've been in those times where it's just like I worried about something to the point that it jacked me up the next day and then I get even more angry. I'm just like, why was I even worried about that? So I hope those two scriptures helped you out. I hope that pumps you up. I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits.